Hi everybody. Uh, so the other day I learned a very interesting uh, way of handling compound or like what I use as thermoplastic beads uh, from a gentleman in UK, Mike Gregory. So I got to give him full credit for this. He showed this technique on Instagram uh, with use of compound. So if you just throw a compound into hot water, whether it's a, a water bath, uh, you know, the, the whip mix one, or if you just have some hot water in the uh, in the mixing bowl, you'll actually stick to the mixing bowl. I've tried that before, it makes a huge mess. Uh, what he does is actually he takes some gauze, like I have a 4x4 right here, and wraps the uh, compound in there and throws it in the hot water, and it doesn't stick to the gauze, and it doesn't stick to the bowl, obviously, because it's wrapped. So I tried the same thing with the thermoplastic beads, just wrapping some into the this 4x4 and putting it in water, in hot water, and as you can see right here, it melts it perfectly and it doesn't stick to the gauze and you can go ahead and just uh, border mold with this however you need to so in this case I'm gonna just add a little bit right here just like this and you can just put it in the hot water to temper it a little bit more if you need to to make it a little bit softer and you can just border mold with this just like you do with compound. And the reason why I like uh, using thermoplastic beads instead of compound, it, it actually, uh, when it sets up, when it cools down, it's not brittle like compound is, and it sticks fairly well to dentures and custom tray material and things like that. And when it cools down, you can tell because it will turn white. And another cool thing with this stuff, it actually takes a little bit longer to set up, so you can border mold with it a little bit better, in my opinion. Okay.